How's everybody doing? This is actually my first video. Somebody actually asked me if I would post a video of how I made my brick walls. I bought some floral foam off of Amazon. I got gray because I wanted my overall uh, part to my wall to be somewhat gray colored and what I have been doing and you there's two different ways that I've seen people do this you can either um, what I did was I went ahead and I took some gesso and painted gesso on it and let it dry uh, makes it a little bit harder um, so it won't continuously chip if you've ever worked with this foam it will tend to chip fairly easily. Uh, also, some folks have, um, and I tried it once, taken um, spray Bondo from an auto parts place and sprayed it and dried it. I've seen that the gesso really ends up actually um, working a little bit better. And all I do is I just take a probe, make a line, at first I started trying to measure things, making sure everything was even, uh, but overall I kind of like the, the hand drawn after a bit, uh, so not everything is absolutely symmetrical and regular, almost as though the brick wall is kind of settling. Uh, what I then will do is after I've marked off the horizontal, I of course will do the, the verticals, um, every other or so. Um, I've done O scale and HO scale uh, brick walls thus far. Um, I then just go ahead mix up some of my uh, brick paint um, which I use um, the garden variety overall burnt sienna with I've been using currently some lipstick red as well a uh, little bit of orange that I have around just to give it a bit of a pop um, I then will go ahead weather and for the mortar um, it's already gray but I just go ahead I end up actually sprinkling in some um, hydrocal and wetting down the hydrocal, letting the hydrocal dry within the cracks um, overall. And when all is said and done, you will, I will show you the end product of all of this. Sorry about that. When all is said and done, you end up getting something of this sort. I did weather it a little bit, but also, the little chips from the foam tend to give a little bit more of a texture to the brick, which is what I like overall. Um, I even popped out a few bricks just to show some gaps and things. And then I just weathered it, colored it. Most of the time I've been using the sponge dab technique, kind of just to get in those little crevices and things um, of the brick but then going over it with a little bit of gray, green, black, just to kind of make it a little bit weathered. I hope this helps. Let me know.